Having completed the configuration for the cable feeder, we now can make use of our work by copying this configuration for the overhead line device. But that's not all. Dixie 5 allows us, on top of that, to copy also the connected bay, including all the connections. Settings, assignments in the information routing, the CFC charts and so on are taken over. Topology and device are copied together in the single line editor. We mark both the feeder and the device. Use copy in the context menu. Point at an empty space in the single line editor and paste both here. We move the couple to a proper place and connect the feeder with the bus bar. As I did before, I rename the feeder immediately. Opening the function group voltage count 3 phase, we see that we have all the functions of the original device and also the settings. Let's now adapt the device to the new task. We have to delete the overload and negative sequence current functions, add the directional overcurrent phase and ground located in the voltage count 3 phase function group and add the ordinary closure from the function group circuit breaker. As a next step we adapt the feeder image, the cable symbol should be substituted, additionally the nominal current should be changed to the new value. The inconsistencies we see now indicate that the nominal current of the configuration is different to the one in the single line diagram. In no time we fix this synchronizing the nominal current settings in the device with the value we entered here in the single line editor. You don't believe it? Then have a look in the power system measuring point settings. It is really 600 instead of 1000. Also the CFC chart and the display page are already done. In this case adapting directly the display page symbols is maybe faster than getting an update of the display page from the single line editor as we did it before. Therefore we exchange the static symbols right here. What remains? The adaptation of all settings. If you want to compare the settings of the overhead line device with a cable feeder device then we have a tool in the context menu of the devices. You open it right clicking on the overhead line device. A dialog opens and you have just to select the device to be compared with. With the offer tree structure it is very convenient to see not only the name of the different settings but also where exactly these differences are located. This saves a lot of time when you want to access the settings. To expand the tree structure, it's just one click on the icon, as you saw. Mm -hmm.